want to commentate, Charlie? All right, fine. Oh, he said please. He did say please. So it's a 2 gg Z fly. I might be back later tonight. I might not. If not, I'll call it a night, and I'll talk to you all later. All right, see ya, Z fly. All right, so we're being joined by Charlie the King. So I got to ask you, Charlie, did uh, did Razo ask you to commentate this set? No, but uh, <laughs> Razo and I talked a lot after our, our set, and we shared a lot of really good insights on um, just the game in general. And we both actually struggle versus Mario a little bit uh, oh, really? in this game. We're both trying to learn the matchup. That's actually why I came here today. Uh, not I didn't like I didn't come because I wanted to like win, uh, get first. No, I just wanted to like uh, I knew Master would be here, so I just wanted to play him more. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta come to tournaments just to level up a little bit, yep. and just figure out what you're doing wrong. And right now this match looking dead even right now. Starting off on PS2, very interesting because Mario. This is one of Mario's best stages. He can ladder you. Those two platforms let him ladder you pretty easily. Yeah. Um, and the stage is actually pretty good for him because, you know, he has Smashville, Yoshi's, this stage, Battlefield. Kalos. Kalos. My Kalos, God. not as much because, like, it's, you know, it's a little more high spaced ceiling. out and higher ceiling as well. Yeah. But, yeah, this is actually not a bad stage at all. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm starting to realize Ooh, how good walls smooth. are. That was smooth. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, no worries, man. I, w I would love to have Daisy's uh, booty in my face, even yeah, if it was uh, knocking me out. <laughs> same here. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Okay, and I really like how Razo likes to use that downer to catch pretty much any old any old option off of the ledge. Right. And that was really smart by Master. Uh, wow. Yeah, he's really good at sniping people. Mm -hmm. All right, at the ledge, he he wanted to react to like a. I feel like he reacted to that, but he just like he didn't throw out the move in time and just got hit by it. Mm. It's really tricky because da like Peach and Daisy's ledge mix-up game to get off the ledge is like probably one of the best in the game. Oh and yeah. And they're very threatening when they get off the ledge too. Like if they reversal you, they can kill you off the ledge. Just with moving alone, that float? Yeah, like, yeah that float's I amazing. I could just float into you and make you scared of me. Mm -hmm. Float, immediate land, like he might die? <laughs> okay, no. Let me ask you, do you think that float uh, full hop, short hop thing is actually kind of busted like I do? Yes, but at the same time, <laughs> What, like, if, if they change that, it wouldn't change much. You know what I mean? I'd like, still be terrified of Peach, yeah. 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 Like, it would just reduce your damage output probably a little bit. Like, She's still going to mess people up. Yeah, it's, it wouldn't change. It wouldn't change your, like, place on the tier list or, like, any anything like that. It would just make her a little bit more bearable. Yeah. And Let Trump Nair, Nair that's yeah. such good coverage because no matter how he DIs the uh, – let Trump, he's dead there. <laughs> he's dead. Yep. Because the Nair will cover. I think if he, if he holds away, actually, Nair's, Nair won't hit him. But, uh, excuse me, nobody wants to hold away on Let's Trump uh, most of the time. Most people hold in so they don't die if they get hit. Yeah. But Peach or Daisy can kill you if you get hit because their aerials are very strong. Way strong. Right now, Raz is dominating this game. He's not letting, like, every time Mar Master Mario approaches, he's stuffing out his aerial approaches. Like, Master uh, Mario has a. Really high aerial mobility, obviously. Oh, yeah. So he's going to use that to try to get in on Peach. But uh, Raza's clearly aware of that, not letting him jump in through the air. Yeah, and I saw Sweet Tea. He's actually like using the parries. So it's like, oh, you want to try to cross me up? Right. Nuh-uh. And that's what Mario does really well. Look at this. Okay. Oh, no up air. I'm surprised that fair didn't hit because it has a lot of vertical range as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, it does. Oh, oh, is that actually? Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. God, dude. Good stuff. That was. Did he counter a fireball? He countered fireball <laughs> and master air dodged in. Ah, they killed him. Oh my goodness. Can you cape the the counter from Peach? I'm curious. I don't see why you. Well, no, it's not a projectile. I don't think. Is it not? No. Like the the thing sh toad shoots out. Like. Oh, yeah. I don't hmm. know. Yeah, probably not. You're right. Probably not. It's probably just a hitbox. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really disgusting one. And it lasts forever, too. It's it does. In oh. this game, like, in Smash 4, it was a multi-hit, and the last hit was the one with knockback. In this game, all the hits have knockback. So, like, you just get hit by any of it, and you're dead. <laughs> if your move sucked, like, super hard in 4, they made it amazing oh, yeah. in this game. Pretty much everything, like, actually. Oh. Every, almost every, like, pretty not-so-good move just is, is... Oh, that was... Dirty. I like that cape idea, though. He was trying to extend that combo with that. The way he had to do that up air, fast fall up air on the platform after landing the first or second one, and then immediately short, full hop and do another one, like that's really frame tight. Mm -hmm. Like it looks easy, but uh, in this game, a lot of the easy air quote combos are a lot like very frame tight because of the lack of hit stun. Yeah, lots of practice mode. Right. Lots of it. Okay, and I, I just love how Mar Master Mario is trying to range and outrange Raza with these fireballs. Not really afraid of a counter. It's like, why would he? Something else I noticed is when Razo does aerials really close to the ground on shield, I feel like it's more often than not better to, like, not try. You can't you can't punish them. Like, they're, they're plus. So 
you can't grab, you can't punish, but if you, if the risk reward is in your favor, you can expect a mix-up and try to punish him for it. So if he tries to grab you, you can dash back, punish to grab, something like that. As the Peach player? Yeah, no, no, as uh, the person getting hit by the, by getting hit by the back here on shield. Like Mario getting hit by Peach's pressure on shield. So if Peach is like really close to the ground and he starts doing all these shenanigans, yeah. I can just, it, basically what he just did right well, there. Well, you can punish it there, but for say, for example, he back airs, uh, it's really hard to punish. Like, it's really hard to grab. Like, if he, if, if Raza lands and mashes a, a, a jab, you can't, you can't grab it. You can't punish it at all. You have to, uh, you have to like, if the risk reward isn't in your favor, you have to dash back and like not mess with it. Be because of how plus it is. Yeah. Wow. And I think that forward tilt, I don't see forward tilt a whole lot, but that was a really, really smart use of it. It's strong. Peach is, it's weird. Uh, Peach and Daisy, like, they, just everything kills. Like, they have, they have 0 to 90 combos, an amazing neutral, really good movement with their float. Uh, their hitboxes are like, they, like, they, they don't like beat swords, obviously, but their, their priority is pretty good. Um, out of shield. Their juggle game is amazing. Their ledge trapping is amazing. They're really good at getting off ledge, and they have throw combos, and they have a kill throw. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, what is this character? And a little disjoint, too, on the forward edge. Yeah. So cute. Love it. Oh! oh! Yeah, you, you know what? We take that damage. We take that position. That so good. Look he, at that. He drifted down, obviously, baited the grab, F smash. Simple play, but looks so good in practice. And it's so effective as well. Oh, yeah. Knowing that Peach, if she got that grab, like, she gets a lot. The thing is, the Peach players are always, like, sorry, the Peach and Daisy players they get a lot off of small reversals or wins in neutral, right? Mm. So a lot of the time they'll be grasping for the uh, the neutral win or the punish, even when there's no punish to be had. So you can just bait like it's it's historically easy er to bait Peach players and like uh, but then like you bait them once, Rosalie will bait them once and then he won't. Oh, wow. yeah. You know, out of all those really positive things that you listed, I mean, I can only really name a few detriments, and you know, being the uh, the run speeds kind of crappy yeah. and the lightness but like all of those pros that that freaking dictionary pros a lot of, a lot of tools just a lot of tools to be used and yeah. Razo amazing player utilizing them in master uh that parry into f smash was really clean i saw Razo yeah. flinch when he did it because Razo, i can see him from here he's like <laughs> it's like damn bro yeah <laughs> i would have flinched too that was really clean so how do you how do you like to to condition a peach player so you, I mainly mix between offense and defense. Like mm. in in situations where I'm pressuring them, I either like I either wait or I immediately press a button. Like that's the most simple conditioning I can think of or conditioning situation. Like say I space fair on shield, either I can immediately f tilt, hoping they drop and try to punish, or wait, walk away, punish. Mm. I've learned the rule of twos. Like if they throw out one fast, safe, normal, expect another one immediately right. after. Not always, but it's. The first time they do it, yeah. Yeah. It's always good to be safe and sorry. Big time. And if, once you're confident in what, in the way you've conditioned him, then you can start taking more risks. And can someone switch the stream layout so I can see the full screen, please? Uh, Senor Javi. Javi. Do your job, Javi. No, Javi's, Javi's the GOAT. I love Javi. He's my favorite person All right. ever. So pretty much even game right now. Master with a slight lead, but uh, none of his, his up smash, like his his safe kill confirms, or not confirms, his safe kill options won't kill at this percent yet. Mm. Unless he's at the ledge and he's factors or something like that. Yeah, and that up smash is very positionally based. You can just start to tell like how he starts to do things like right. basically like, oh, I'm going to skid. Oh, oh, I wonder what so he's good. going for. Yeah, look at and that. And versus Mario, you have to remember what move is a threat at what percent and at what part of the stage. So if you're at center stage at 112 up smash, if it hits you, it won't kill you. So it's not the biggest threat in the world. Um, but grab is a bigger threat because he can throw you at the ledge and then you're stuck at the ledge versus Mario and he gets to ledge trap you, kill you, something like that. And Master, when I played him, his ledge trapping for a Mario is some of the best I've ever seen with the character. It's real good. Oh, yeah. That dash attack brings you a lot of reward. Get up attacks are broken in this game. Yeah, they, they do they're, so they're, much shield damage. They're, they, they do a ton of damage. They have a lot of range and they're invincible. Yeah. I think... They should either have a lot of range or be invincible, not both. Yeah. But it's whatever. If you expect it, you know, it's in the game. Oh, is he dead? Wow. Oh, the full rage. That you makes sense. You can't see me right now, but my jaw is like, I have to pick it up off the floor. Oh, my <laughs> I'll help you. goodness, dude. That. Mario. <laughs> dude. Yeah, and that down air. Man, he's not even afraid of, like, using it, like, unconditionally like yeah, that. Yeah, because it's, it's like, you can act out of it immediately. You cancel the float right after the dare and just, you get to chase them more. It's nice. And Roswell's going to have, he has a bit of a mountain to climb. But yeah. honestly, that's like a, if he doesn't drop his combos like he did there, um, 
he can bring it back pretty I mean, quickly. I mean, that frame three up, re, up B is just kind of hard to really right. contest, especially at like that low you percent. Have to do, you have to be perfect. You have to be perfect because he could do nair, nair, nair there. He just messed it up because yeah. it's a hard input or hard inputs. That's why you don't see more Peach players, even though she might be the best character in the game. Because her fingers are broken. Yeah, you have to break <laughs> your hands. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Oh, that was just a straight up whiff from Razo. Yeah, he's going to be a little bit hurt. What's crazy about Masta is the way he drifts when he's back airing or aerialing you. Like, he'll drift in and do another one. Nobody does that. Like, people back air once, they drift out and they try to be safe. Master just drifts in and presses another button. You can and, do. And it's like, it's hard to expect. And Mario in this game, he's even faster in the air than he was in four, which is hard to comprehend. Yeah. <laughs> this man can do two bears in one short hop. And with that aerial mobility. That just makes <laughs> stupid. Crazy, dude. Stupid. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's pretty nutty. He's a great character. Look at that. Yep, dead. <laughs> you know what's fun? <laughs> hey, I mean, he was at the percentage to make it happen. He, right. he clocked him with he, that uh, up smash. Rosal's shield grabbing a little bit too much this game. It's like. Mass is doing a good job of spacing his aerials in such a way where it looks like you can grab them, mm. and then you go for the grab, and then the grab just doesn't wi doesn't connect. You yep. grab the air, and then he punishes you. Yep. Mass has been very like those. That is one of the most simple like that. That punish has been around since like that punish has been around for like 17 years. <laughs> that punish has been, but but it's hard because you have to commit as the person punishing the shield grab. You have to commit to that. Like Im imagine if you if you uh. Nair someone shield space it and then F smash expecting a shield grab and they don't shield grab. Like, you know, it's a risk. It's yeah, a risk. You have is. to re you have to be very continent with it. And it I plays into conditioning like I was saying earlier. Yep. I mean that's basically anything uh, involving a neutral game in any old fighting game. Right. Oh, that parry, yeah, that brought him a long way. I like how he used that forward to let out of that grab oh, as well. That was sick. Yeah. I'm sad he didn't get the back air afterwards. Up air into like float cancel Nair into into pair would have been really cool. Ooh. Look at all this damage that's already been accumulated. I don't know why Peach and Daisy have super strength in this game, but it's, it's interesting. Like, it, it's cool. So does Mario. <laughs> super strength, baby. Mario's such a good character. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised I don't see enough Marios, really. It's because a lot of people just, like, he's like one of those characters where you don't pick him up. He's like a specialist character. He's kind of like Pikachu, where Pikachu's really, really good, but you don't see anyone playing him outside of the specialist. Like, you don't see any top player picking up a pocket Pikachu. You know what I mean? And that but surprises me, too. I thought I'd see more Pikachus well, around. Well, they'll pick up a pocket Pichu, but not Pikachu. Yeah. Wow, that, that was a good punish. Yeah. That up out of shield not <laughs> not being so good for Master right now. That but was the perfect forward smash, too. Mm -hmm. And That's she can control her F-Smash now, so... Yep. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> Honestly, yep. I, I, I'm not a big fan of anything random in Smash. Yeah, so, I'm, uh, I'm with you there. Oh. Once again. Oh. oh I missed the punish. Okay. I definitely feel like he went. He wanted a simple punish there. He could have gone for, like, Nair into, like, whatever. But he wanted to go for the simple grab, but he even missed input of that. That's pretty unfortunate. Yeah. And now he lost the stock. That's, tilt, I, that's tilting, but I, I believe in Razo to not let that affect his gameplay right now. <laughs> Relax. Yeah. Yeah, you reach a point when you start to, you know, with your skill. It's just like, eh, it's happened before. Yeah. It's not the last time it'll happen either. Mario's a very tilting character. <laughs> like, he makes you mad. He's a little man. He's a little man. Look at this guy. Okay. That was a pretty nice little back air, too, sending him right into the center of the stage. And, you know, maybe Raz is going to be able to capitalize on this position here. There we go. Yep. There you go. That's what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, and that nair. He might die. Oh, that was such good cross up DI. He DI'd in and out on the up air. That's that expected smart. him to keep DI'ing in. Yeah, I've been noticing people doing that to Master Mario. And Master Mario is already really good at adapting to that situation because yeah. it's the same combo. You can react. You can always just react, regardless of DI. But, you know, you can't, re like, even the best of players don't react every single time. It's hard. Not. Yeah. It's very hard to do. Oh, that was such a nice. That was the tipper of that bear. That wow. was sweet. Ooh, that was. Oh, I feel like. He had, okay, he read Master Mario's Drift in. He had the punish, but he missed it by like a frame or a couple frames, and then Master just punished him for it. That's so unfortunate. If he got that's another tipper, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah. That's something I realized. Like, like Mario, no, in general, this game has like very little lag on landing aerials yep. compared to other Smash games. <laughs> Almost. That was, that was so a scary. great near dodge. Okay, I like that too. I really like that. Getting right into the center stage, pushing him right into the corner. Razo needed that stock at this percent. Yeah. Right now, he has to play very. See what I mean? Yeah, he See does. See what I mean? He is doing that. See? Here's that flood. Such a great tool in neutral, too. Ah, oh, oh. uh, now Master Mario's doing it himself. 
when it comes to like Mario's back air, even if he doesn't space it and he does it really low to the ground, it's safe. You can't, well, it's air quote safe. You can't shield grab it. But like, it's, it puts you in a mix-up situation, which, oh my god, that is so scary. Yeah. <laughs> At this percent, that is horrifying. Oh my god, that poor air. Okay. He was shielding too. That was the time to get the grab, oh, and you know smart. what? There's that back air. All right. Yep, taking it out. Well, I gotta go play Grands. It was a pleasure commentating with you, man. Of course, man. Hold on. Let's get a more solid one. That was like one nothing. Right. There we go. I like that. <laughs> All right. Peace out, guys. Peace Wish out. Wish me luck. Yes. That was CDK. It's just me and the couch right now. Going into Grand Finals. Am I going to be joined by Mr. Korean? K.O. Rian. What up? What's going on, Korean? Not much. All right, so we were just talking, and uh, <laughs> this is actually kind of nice for uh, for Charlie the King because he was uh, being able to commentate this set with Master Mario, or you know, watching Master Mario, and he was noting some things that Master Mario was doing. He was going for uh, particular like uh, shield grabs, and just you can really I, I love I love talking about the game with high level players because they have such a different approach uh, as you know compared to like commentators. But you, you're a coach. 